Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Lon Paul. We're going to do our our weekend mission for the Anomaly. And we're going to go ahead and get that started right here. I'm using my newest tertiary save, my newest main save that I've uh, uh, been using to do some videos on. So we're just going to go ahead and, and use my current ship. I don't have any other ships under this main save. This is it. So we're going to go ahead and do this with... A newer character, if you will. There we go. Let's pull in the anomaly and take a look, see what our mission is today. Or for the weekend, I should say. As you can see, I don't have a lot. 17 million, 10,000 nanites, 3,900 quicksilver, because I did one of the tertiary saves on this. Pardon me, one of the anomaly missions on my tertiary save. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. I will be using this on a regular basis. Or at least I'm going to try to. Alright, so there's our blue symbol indicating we do have a special mission. Let's go ahead in and take a look. Wrong button, sorry. Foe of my foe. So we're going to rescue a stranded life form. Alright, good deal. So let's go ahead and get this started. Initialize and start. So we have to rescue somebody. Interesting. Okay. And in this save, I don't have any special multi-tools. I have not... Tr I can go to the Twitch... Uh, probably the Quicksilver vendor and get my Twitch drops and uh, other Quicksilver drops that I've gotten over the last, uh, what, five years, I guess. Um, but I am not going to do that. I want to get through the main storyline all the way through the Artemis missions. All the little submissions, going to get everything done, and then we're going to go ahead and we can grab some of those tools if we wish. But we're going to end up with whatever we end up with while we're doing our run through here. Scalding planet ahead of us. Hope it's not that one. Okay. It should move to the side. There it goes. It's telling me to go that way. I do love that feature. I'm glad they added that in. All right. On our way to that... Stranded life form. So we're going to get some pixelation here as we're into pulse drive. Sorry about that. The videos will always do that. Let's see what this planet looks like. Frozen. Okay, that I can handle if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure, yeah, I've got cold protection. I don't have any hot protection, so working on that. And I've got an inventory full of bones from last time. We need to get these out of here. Let me put them in my ship because we're going to need some room. There, that should do for now. That should do for now. All right. Name of the planet is Terra. Frozen Anomaly. Let's see, we got Indium. So we're in a blue star system. We got dioxide and salt. I might want to collect some other stuff because this, again, is a new save, so I don't have a whole lot of stuff. Now, to find a character on this, when you're finding a stranded life form, they're in a crashed ship. It's giving you an approximate location. Now, we can do that, and it will give us a couple of items that we can look for. Oh, it looks like it gives us a blue dot now. How interesting. Nope. And, but what we want to do is go back into first person. You're going to look for something on the landscape. We'll look for a crashed ship, which should be a... Yep, right there. Right over here this way. Did we just literally pass right over it, or... Let's see. Hold on. Turn around. I think it's, like, right in front of us, or right below us. Alright, let's land, because I think we're right on top of them for some reason. Little black square. Yep, there he is. We were literally right over him. Ah, yes. The old crash ship that I always find when I'm on stranded missions, right? <laughs> Alright, so here we are. That's frozen anomaly. The weird part is the temperature here is 77.6 degrees. That is really, really strange. I'm going to take a look at the uh, animals real quick. Let's see how many we got. Eight animals on this planet. So I might start scanning stuff as I'm going. Because, again... New save. The more nanites I can get, better. And of course, discovering these things, I have boosts to my 
multi-tool that allows me to get more money. Looks like we've also got an unknown building in that direction. So we'll take a look around for more creatures as we go. But for right now, let's talk to our stranded pilot here, which looks like a traveler. The traveler seems surprised to see me. Their eyes search mine, wondering why I'm here and how I have found them. Forlornly, Traveler Mboxhunv shows me their ship's melted navigation computer. This part is far beyond repair, but it could potentially be replaced. Okay, so that's our mission. We're finding a replacement part for them. Now, hey, while you're here, grab stuff. He doesn't use it. He's not going to need it. Okay, that should give us some nanites, at least. Let's grab stuff out of these uh, canisters. Sodium nitrate's always going to help me. There we go. And whatever's in here, hopefully in my microprocessor. Got oxygen, that must have been from the last container. Oh, dihydrogen jelly, that's okay. So we have this buried technology module. Now what it's going to do, it's converted all the buried technology into units you want to dig up for them. So... I could do the first person view and pick it up. So if I go first person and stand over, you can pick it up. Or you can use your terrain manipulator to dig down and get it. Okay. Either way, whatever works for you. So you get your rare item. It talks about an encrypted navigation computer. Okay. Sometimes digging these up and using them. See, like I have to analyze it as it says at the bottom right. Can trigger an attack by sentinels. So, let's go into our multi-tool real quick. Let's take a look. So, this is the multi-tool I'm using. I've only got a B-class one. It's got a nice couple supercharged slots right here. I don't really have the nanites to upgrade it yet. I can upgrade it one level, but I'd wipe myself clean. But I've got a pretty decent amount of damage. You're getting about 4,000 damage from this, so it's pretty good. And I've got ammunition. Should have ammunition in here. There we go, about 2,000 rounds. So, we're going to go ahead and select it. And if it doesn't find anything, it sometimes triggers. So it says, terminal not located, component signature corrupt. So we got to find another one of these. Now again, nope, no attack. Good. All right, so we'll look again through our, our visor. And we're going to go this way this time. Let's highlight it. We'll head over there. And while we're looking, we will be looking for animals too. And for that, we have to go to regular scan mode. Let me just take a look around. Doesn't seem to be a lot of land-based animals. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to double-check that. One more flying, and the rest are underwater. So I'll have to go underwater to discover the rest. Okay, good. Good to know. So stop looking for land-based animals. All right. Wait for the terrain to catch up to me here. There we go. Another rare item, same thing. So we'll do the same exact process here. Ah, good. That one worked. So it shows us a decryption terminal that we're going to take it to. This we will probably get attacked at. So I'm going to switch over to my bolt caster, make sure it's completely reloaded. I can get myself out of the hole. There we go. But before we go, look at our flying creatures real quick, because we should have one more flying creature we have yet to find or see. There it is. Okay, good. And we'll hit the water. One, two, three, hopefully he doesn't attack me, and it looks like there's the fourth one right there. We got them all. Excellent. So we're all discovered, and we can exit the water and head on out. Good deal. So that's nice. A little bonus to our mission here. 2,000 nanites. Very, very nice. Good deal. And they seem to be pretty easy to find, so I do recommend doing it if you want an extra couple thousand nanites. Getting there. Five creatures, right? Alright, so we're going to head back to the ship like it told us to do, and we need to get to the decryption terminal. Well, 
Boink. There we go. It says it's all the way down there. Oh, hello. A little hole in the ground there. All right. Off we go. I like this little ship. It's pretty cool. Symmetry, the wide wings. It's pretty cool. Encryption terminal is an exact location. You don't have to worry about anything else in regards to this. But like I said, you may have to face sentinels here. See? And you won't be able to do anything until you fight them. So, here we go. And he's not really... Why isn't he fighting me? You are noticing this, right? What? You didn't notice that? It's like he doesn't see me. This is very strange. Okay. Well, good. We don't have to worry about him now. But we didn't get attacked at all. Little, uh... Little note for the folks out there. He didn't attack me. I don't know why. All right. Let's decrypt it now. Terminal status active. Please present compatible device. So we're going to decrypt. Navigation computer detected. Pairing. Key downloaded. Syncing. Device decrypted. So now we have a navigation computer. And we can bring that back to our fallen pilot. And he will not thank us and leave. I'm going to grab this because I can use a couple extra nanites and the extra navigation data. There we go. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Um, all I've got is decryption, uh, pardon me, uh, communication things. Oh, wait, there he is. All right, I just had to wait for the mission to catch up to me. That's what I had to do. All right. Wee. Okay, good. Had to do it at least once. Down we go. Alright. So we'll go to the ungrateful traveler here. The traveler seems surprised to see me there. I search mine wondering. Yeah, it's like all over again. Wondering why I'm here and how I found them. We give him the part. And he just leaves. Isn't that great? Just gone. That's it. So, life form rescued, and he just completely vanishes. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Well, let's go back to the, uh... It says, foe of my foe. Let's go back to the anomaly, and we will get our reward from them, I guess. Because this guy was ungrateful, huh? Alright, let's pull in the anomaly. Off we go. Receive our reward. Oh, I didn't see what the secondary reward was. I didn't even check that. I know I get the 1800 Quicksilver, but I didn't notice what we got. I'm sure you saw it. But I wasn't paying attention. Ah, oh, there we go. Furthest parking space. I'm telling you. You could charge me a monthly fee. I would buy it. There we go. Okay, complete the mission. Quicksilver and... Oh, a B-class reactor. Very nice. I could always use one of those if I want to build my own ship on this save. That's pretty cool. Those are expensive. All right, excellent. And for the rewards over here, see, we're up to 5,700 Quicksilver. Let me see what we can get. So exotic items from the Quicksilver menu. Looks like A and B are now open, and we're at 10% into Tier 3. So this one's going to unlock in Tier 3. So finally it unlocked. Um says already owned, but I just bought it somehow, I guess. Yes, I did. I did actually buy it. All right, so that's great. And then as this progresses, we should see us getting close. I think we're probably going to go at least another week before we get our expedition drop. So let's keep an eye open for that. And let me get out of this. For one last thing, we always check every single week anything going on over here. Not available. 
uh, you'll be alerted when new expeditions available. So not yet. It says say very soon, but we don't have anything just yet. Okay, and as you notice, if you go enough days playing, you will get three icons so you can get some more Quicksilver by taking the topmost mission up here. You'll get 400 Quicksilver per mission. You can do up to three of these, and then you have to wait a complete day before one more will appear for you. So you can get one of these every day that you don't do them, So you, and a maximum of three will be on hold for you. But you can get other stuff. If you're hurting for units, or you want other stuff like frigate fuel, or warp hyper cores, you can come in here and grab some things. Okay, so it's a good way to get some extra missions done and get some extra materials. Alright folks, so that should take care of it. As far as news is concerned, please continue to watch my normal playthrough videos that come out every Wednesday at 6 a.m. Eastern. And that's pretty much it for me. Journey, journey milestone? What milestone did I complete this time? It fails to tell me. How fascinating. Okay, well, we have no idea what we just uh, achieved. That's great. But anyway, moving, moving right along. We are going to... Uh, basically end this video here we want to thank you very much for watching again no news right now we will be doing a possible live stream on saturday the 11th at around mm, probably 4 30 ish 4 30 p.m give or take and we're going to complete not complete we're going to continue the stranded mission not stranded pardon me no the fugitive mission that was it fugitive got five and a half hours into that we're doing really really good and this will hopefully be the first time i can complete it but we'll see what happens so let's get a couple more hours put into that folks we'll see you tomorrow night and again thank you very much for watching please hit the like and subscribe if you like what you've been seeing take care everybody